So in testing more of the fragrances from Oman Luxury, one of the ones that I really enjoy is Paramore. Now in doing my Googles and researches, and of course the experts, because they're all experts on Fragrantica, saying that it's essentially witty in London or Tom Ford's Tuscan leather, in another bottle, I'm like, hmm, everybody on Fragrantica is always right, including all the note breakdowns, just like myself. I'm an expert reviewer, right? So I wanna do a comparison head to head. I don't have Witty in London, but I do have Tuscan leather. So let's see if Oman Luxuries Paramore is in fact Tuscan leather by Tom Ford. Let's roll my mother effing music and let's see if these two are identical. <laughs> Blessing one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, this is your boy, c to the U to the B to the A. Paramore by Oman Luxury. Now I have a few of the Oman Luxury joints because they were sent to me by Max Aroma to test out, see what my thought process is, and I've been enjoying the house. The performance has been outstanding. They have beautiful scent profiles. So far, this would be my number two, as my actual favorite one at this point is Oud Aquilaria. But I'm a person who enjoys a clone. I like a cheap version. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. I'm open to all of that joint. So if this is essentially a more expensive version of M4 Tuscan Leather, wait, is this even more more expensive? Let me check Max Aroma's website since they're the ones who sent me this. All right, so Tuscan leather for a 50 ml on Max Aroma right now is 245 and Paramore is 225. So actually Paramore is cheaper than Tuscan leather. So let's see if this cheaper option is as good, if it's a clone, if it's not, what similarities they have. Unfortunately, I don't have Witty in London yet. I have smelled it, but I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison because I don't have the joint. So let's go ahead and try this joint out right from rim. Top four Tuscan leather, we already know. Absolutely incredible leather and raspberry, right? Phenomenal, beautiful scent profile, super popular in the Tom Ford lineup. But let's give it a respray right now. This is one of my older bottles, so that puppy's been macerating, sitting. It's, it's probably gonna smell like a dime piece right now. And it absolutely does. Sweet, leathery, somewhat of an Aquanet hairspray kind of scent profile, raspberry. Mmm, the leather here is phenomenal. The sweetness of the raspberry, and I'm just getting, I don't know why I'm getting more of a hairspray, aerosol spray kind of sensation, but I'm liking it though. It's kind of like huffing glue or sniffing gas. Don't act like you never did that. All right, absolutely beautiful. Damn, I couldn't get my nose off that Tuscan leather. It's, it's been a while since I've really given it some love. Now let's try Paramore. Paramore, I'm, it, it, that was a rock band, right? I'm not tripping. Like, I'm pretty sure that was part of some sort of rock band. Not even in the same stratosphere, fam. Like, the star here is more of like sweetness, not completely indicative of raspberry, it's just more sweetness. Creamy, caramel, vanillic, you do get leather, you get a smoky woodiness, Tuscan leather. Like, not even in the same, like, what are you talking about? Let me let this dry down a little bit because maybe I'm tripping. I'll wait. Okay, Tuscan leather, delicious. Paramore, delicious as well. Not even close, not even close. No, why, because it's sweet and it has leather? Is that why? No, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Maybe you do, I don't, I don't. I wish I had the, the Witty and London one that they're comparing it to. But it's funny how a lot of people also like on these forums and stuff, they like to compare stuff and say that this smells like this when they really have never done a side-by-side -side comparison. They're just really going off of what other people say or somebody more info. That's what they're going off of. Like you haven't done the side-by-side -side comparison that you put all three next to each other and really smell them and dissect them and formulate your own opinion that it smells like it. No, you're following the peanut gallery and that's cool. I mean, it is what it is. I don't get it at all. They're not even in the same playing field. Were well, they both leathery fragrances? Sure. Are they both sweet? Yeah. Which one's better? They're, they're different. They both have their own place. Paramore smells delicious. Like I said, sweet, vanillic, slightly smoky, leathery, fucking gorgeous. Super gorgeous, mass appeal, easy peasy. Tom Ford Tuscan leather is straight up leather, raspberry, and right now hairspray. It smells fantastic too. These two are not the same. Let's not get crazy. I, my personal opinion, which doesn't mean much to many people, these two are not the same. They both can hold a place on your shelf equally. On my vibe today, I'm enjoying Tom Ford Tuscan leather a lot, but I'm gonna go with the Paramore. The Paramore at this moment right now, for me, is feeling a little bit sexier and more of my mood today. 
tomorrow might be a Tuscan leather day because this still smells phenomenal. If you get one of the older ones and they just sit in mass, oh bitch, this smells fabulous. But for me, Paramore is gonna be like this today. But these two are not the same. Maybe I'll get my paws on Witty in London and maybe this is in fact closer to Witty in London. But this is just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think and if you've actually smelled the fragrances to give your opinion. That'd be good too. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I'll see you bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>